Welcome to Know It All, a place to connect with researchers to answer all questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more. This episode on how can I prevent diabetes was created for you by Haley. In this topic, Know It All will answer. What is diabetes? How can I prevent getting diabetes? Why is screening for diabetes important? Diabetes is a chronic disease that affects millions of people worldwide. It is a condition in which the body is unable to produce or properly use insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. Without adequate insulin, glucose builds up in the bloodstream, leading to various health problems. Diabetes can cause serious complications such as heart disease, kidney disease, nerve damage, blindness, and amputations. Preventing diabetes is crucial to avoid these serious health complications. Although there are certain risk factors such as age, family history, and ethnicity that cannot be changed, there are several steps that can be taken to prevent or delay the onset of diabetes. Diabetes can be broadly classified into two types type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes occurs when the body's immune system attacks and destroys the cells that produce insulin. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children and young adults and accounts for only 5-10% to of all diabetes cases. Type 2 diabetes, on the other hand, occurs when the body becomes resistant to insulin, or does not produce enough insulin. Type 2 diabetes is much more common and accounts for 90-95% to of all diabetes cases. Some of the common risk factors for diabetes include being overweight, having a sedentary lifestyle, having high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and a family history of diabetes. Symptoms of diabetes include frequent urination, excessive thirst, hunger, fatigue, blurred vision, slow healing of wounds, and numbness in the hands and feet. There are several different lifestyle changes one can make in order to prevent getting diabetes. Here are a few. Maintaining a healthy diet. A healthy diet is one of the most important steps in preventing diabetes. A balanced diet should include carbohydrates, proteins, and healthy fats. Complex carbohydrates found in whole grains, fruits, and vegetables are preferred over simple carbohydrates found in sugary foods and drinks. Proteins from lean meats, fish, beans, and nuts should be included in the diet. Healthy fats such as olive oil, avocado, and nuts should also be incorporated. Regular exercise. Exercise is another important aspect of diabetes prevention. Exercise helps the body use insulin more effectively and also helps to maintain a healthy weight. Aerobic exercises such as walking, jogging, and cycling are beneficial for diabetes prevention. Strength training exercises can also help to increase muscle mass and improve insulin sensitivity. Maintaining a healthy weight Maintaining a healthy weight is crucial for diabetes prevention. Obesity is a major risk factor for type 2 diabetes. Body mass index, BMI, is a measure of body fat based on height and weight. A BMI of 25 or higher indicates overweight, and a BMI of 30 or higher indicates obesity. Losing even a small amount of weight can reduce the risk of developing diabetes. Managing stress Managing stress is another important factor in diabetes prevention. Stress can increase blood sugar levels, making it difficult to manage diabetes. Stress-reducing activities such as meditation, yoga, and deep breathing exercises can help to reduce stress levels. Screening and early detection Screening for diabetes is crucial for early detection and treatment. Regular blood sugar level testing can help identify prediabetes or diabetes before symptoms occur. Prediabetes is a condition in which blood sugar levels are higher than normal but not high enough to be diagnosed as diabetes, However, it can lead to diabetes if left untreated. Screening for diabetes is important because diabetes is a chronic disease that can lead to serious complications such as heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, nerve damage, blindness, and amputations. Early detection and treatment of diabetes can prevent or delay the onset of these complications and improve the quality of life for individuals with diabetes. The ADA recommends that adults over the age of 45 get tested for diabetes every three years, or more frequently if they have certain risk factors. Risk factors for diabetes include Being overweight or obese Having a family history of diabetes Having high blood pressure or high cholesterol Being physically inactive Having a history of gestational diabetes or giving birth to a baby weighing over 9 pounds 
belonging to certain racial and ethnic groups such as African Americans, Hispanic slash Latino Americans, American Indians, and Asian Americans. Younger adults who are overweight and have other risk factors should also consider getting screened for diabetes. There are several tests available for diabetes screening. The most common test is the fasting plasma glucose, FPG, test, which measures blood sugar levels after fasting for at least 8 hours. Another test is the oral glucose tolerance test, OGTT, which measures blood sugar levels after drinking a glucose solution. Hemoglobin A1c, a 1C, is a blood test that measures average blood sugar levels over the past 2 to 3 months. The FPG test and the OGTT test require fasting, so they are usually done in the morning after an overnight fast. The H1C test can be done at any time of the day, but it is not recommended for individuals with certain conditions such as anemia or kidney disease. Thank you for listening. For more answers to questions on health, science, technology, business, culture and more, don't forget to subscribe to Know It All.